Hello and welcome to my new shop. I was asked recently by 360 Woodworking to do a little bit of a DVD for them. And I said, well, what do you want me to do? They said, whatever you're up to, Frank. So I been, did so many different joinery. I don't want to cut more dovetails. Most of you do see me, how do I cut dovetails? And that's what I know from, from my dovetails. So I decided to talk to you about the most important part of woodworking, and that is sharpening. I know you sharpen your tools. I want you to sharpen your tools better and easier. I do use water stones for sharpening. I have here a thousand, a five thousand, and a fifteen thousand water stone. It can be very well a thousand, a four thousand, and eight thousand. Norton's makes a very nice stones and can be used the same way. And I use my jig. Your hands is the greatest jig out there to to do any work. So I have this water pond, simply make the stone wet. The chisel has been hollow grinded, therefore it has two edges. I hold it right there, push down low on the end, and start sharpening. And keep doing this, push hard, and use the whole stone till I create a small burr in the back. I feel nothing, therefore I still have to do a little more. Right there, as soon as you have a small burr in the back, you stop and flip to the 5,000 stone and start on the back to level it up absolutely flat and then you just do a few stroke. Now I come up and do the same bevel and a few stroke. And what I do now is flip and draw once or twice. Then I go to the 15,000 stone, which is polishing. This chisel is already sharp, but I want to make it a lot finer edge. So I do the same thing, hold these things exactly on the bevel, push low and do a few stroke. And now I'm pushing a lot less. In that slurry, I am polishing this edge. Make it super shiny by rubbing it. And now I put it flat down again on the back. And then I flip and draw. Back to that angle and pull it back and down flat again. Once you practice this, you can do it much faster and you end up with a super fine sharp chisel. Recently I was introduced to this to this jig and I'm so much against jigs because most of the jigs is on the stone or behind the stone and this jig which is done by Plain Perfect company, Dave Powell, who used to own the diamond stones, he made these new jig. He came up with it. And we have here the rough, medium, and very fine diamond stones. And this does the sharpening the same way as I do, go back and forth. So that's the reason I do like this. And it's simply you just put in your plain blade or chisel and um, push it down to make sure it's up, up from the stone. It's lines in here so you can line it up beautifully and then you lock it. It's a screw here on the bottom, which you adjust. It's a level built in here. So you just keep going till you're at the right height. 
The best lubricant for the diamond stones is any mineral spirits. I use WD-40. It's an easy, quick, and very good lubricant. So the reason I like this jig because it works the same way, same way as my jig. You did see me what I did on the water stone. So this is this is a. quick and easy way to hold this blade. I'm going to take a look what is happening. And you can see it's cutting quite fast. This is the rough diamond stone. And uh, it's very easy to push at either edge if you're behind. But these are also the stones, which is, which is uh, they call it the Toshio. Toshio Adata came up with this crownings. So this diamond stones crowned very slightly, and they're going to make that edge very slightly crowned. You can hear how rough this thing is cutting. I see all the way, all the way a dull spot. Therefore, it's ready for the finer stone. Just simply move on to the next and do us. And then to even a finer stone. <clears throat> Just like you send with a 120 paper, you're going to send with the 150, and you're going to go to 180, then 220. So now I'm going to the very fine stone. And we're done here. However, we still have to finish it by hand. So this, kit, this kit comes with the diamond stones, the jig, and the water stones. So I just Take this out. You could set up the jig for that again, but I do it. Just hold it there and do a few stroke. Flip the stone because this side is straight. This side is crowned out a little bit. Put it down and rub it gently. I flip the stone and my blade. And then back again. Don't forget to flip it because one side is crowned, other side is straight. So what am I looking for? What am I trying to accomplish? I want to make sure the edge is polished. The edge is polished. And there you have a beautiful sharp edge, which is very slightly crowned and is as sharp as can be. It's not necessary to shave with your blade, but it it's indicates it's very sharp. Good luck with your sharpening, and you're going to have a much easy planing, a lot less physical effort. Thank you for listening. <laughs>